Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or, yeah. No, no, you good. Thanks. I'm good. Yeah, I, I, you know what the, the the young men are doing everything that's asked of them. You know, I, I got to be, I have to be better. You know, in terms of of making sure that this is the stuff that we're going to run. You know, we're 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 messing around, moving guys around, moving things schematically a little bit. So I got to be cleaner and more efficient to make sure that that we get a chance to see guys really play. You know, it's it's hard to get an evaluation when. Um, you're changing stuff or adding stuff all the time, and then you throw a guy in a new position. So now he's learned new position, he's learned new defenses, all stuff, and then you're going out there and you're seeing him at his worst. You know, so uh, at this point, it's a matter of just making sure that they're in the right positions and they know what to do. I scale back so those guys can go play. When did you start scaling? Oh, we 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 haven't installed anything new in the last couple of days, just so that way guys can really go out there and execute. You know. I like, I, coaches like to think it's it's them and all the X's and O's and stuff, but if those young men don't line up and they don't play fast, and we don't have a chance. So, what's the pass rush look like to you right now? How much of that, and how much is that on your mind? Everything. I mean, everything's on the mind. You know, again, part of that is me making sure that they're in the right places. You know, we're moving guys around, all that kind of stuff. The second thing is uh, making sure that those guys know what to do. Again. It continuously shows up on film. When, when you don't know what to do, you're moving that much slower. When you're moving that much slower, are you really showing the best version of yourself? You know, and it all comes back to coaching. So uh, I need to make sure that I'm putting those guys in the right positions. Can you identify guys right now with like your pass rushers? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of skill. We, we definitely do. I mean, you got P. Will, Jamar, you got Chief, you got, uh, um, you got MJ. I mean, you got Kai. You got a lot of guys with a, a lot of pass rush ability, you know. Uh, but again, um, it, it's, it's fun to watch them when we get in those situations, but you got to get them in those situations, right? You got to get them to, 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 we got to get them to stop the run and then get them in the third down. So four of those five guys are your numbers. Uh, are you, does that mean you're, you're pretty pleased with the guys are able to improve right here in a short amount of time? Is there something that one year had? Yeah, the staff did a great job of, of identifying guys and getting them on campus. Uh, Corey Campbell uh, did a hell of a job of getting those guys in the weight room and 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 making it about uh, making it about us and the way we want to do things. And then, you know, you see their natural ability. So it's again putting it all together and making sure they're doing what we want them to do. You mentioned Prince Will first. I mean, how does that transition look? Uh, I just mentioned P. Will first because that's the last one I saw uh, coming out the coming off the field. But they're all they're all doing a really nice job. Ask, do, they're doing what's asked of them. Yep. How did the position? No, they're all moving around. Again, this is this is about seeing what they can do. You know, I mean, when you're stopping the run, you're putting them one place, and then when you're when you're defending the pass, you're putting them another place. So. All of it is, they're all really like X-Men, you know, moving around. And again, they're, they're doing a, a great job of doing what's asked of them, um, showing different skill sets, you know, that is. So will they, are some of those guys like with Rob in one drill and like Mike in another drill, or how, how do you, how do you know that? Yeah, you see, you see that in Indy? How'd you know that? No, they are. They're all over the place. And again, it goes back to that cross-training deal. You know, coach, coach is real big on, on putting guys, making sure guys are in the right spot, because again, it, you can't you can't evaluate them if they're in the wrong spot and if they're playing slow, they're he, they're hesitant. How you that's not fair. That's not fair to the guy. So we're moving a, a lot of guys around. We're trying to get a feel for what they do best, and then we'll decide in, in the end after the spring game. I haven't seen AJ Rollins move to that defensive end spot. How is he adjusting? Tell you what, that that dude is that dude's a baller. You know, he's he's again doing what's asked. He's he's been over there for I don't know maybe a week now, and all of a sudden you know he's making plays. You're seeing him. You're seeing them constantly show up around the ball, which is really cool, really fun to watch. And then you see him, you see him with a smile on his face. So again, really neat deal. And that's that's one of those things where guys are moving positions, and now all of a sudden he's making plays for you, and we'll go from there. Was that rule or was it you? It was like that guy. Kind of 
No, it was it was Coach Rule seeing it. You know, he he's he gets a chance. I mean, he's real real observing everything, sideline players, everything, constant constantly. Uh, talking about the roster and where he sees guys and athleticism and everything. So he mentioned one day, he's like, hey, try him over here. And lo and behold, he's pinching through there, making tackles for a loss. So it's it's fun with a smile on his face. That's the best thing, you know, so it's cool to see. Tony, uh, MJ Sherman and Jamari Butler, they mentioned they were working at the jack position. Yeah. Can you just explain a little bit more about the jack and what, what it's responsibilities are? Yeah, it's, it's just like outside linebacker. I mean, it's just they're moving around. I mean, they want to save the jack, but also – they're at Will, they're at Mike, they're at N, they're all over the place. So I don't want to lock them into one thing um, because their skill set, they're showing a lot of different things. They're showing, they're showing their ability to, uh, to play on rundowns and then you move them outside and then they're rushing the passer. So I think there's a really healthy competition right there, which, which is going to be good for everybody. How, how, how many quarters do you have? Like how many quarters do you feel really comfortable in? Oh man, I mean, there's... I mean, all those DBs, same way, they're, they're, we're moving guys around. So you got three or four or five guys that, that have shown that they can go out there and cover. Now, where they, where they are each practice, you, you kind of you don't know. You know. It goes by injury. It goes by where we want to see what, what the plan of the day is for them. But um, there's about three, four, five guys that are constantly moving around, making plays uh, out there on the island. Oh, I mean, there's Malcolm, Q. Uh, um, I'm trying to think here. Malcolm, Q. I mean, you got Javi. You got uh, uh, um, Tommy Hills about their ball. I mean, and then you know Miles can go out there and play corner. I mean, with his length and his athleticism. I mean, there's there, there's there's a ton of guys that can go out there. Would you say there's a opposite? No, no. This whole thing is about competition. So. We're moving guys around. When you watch out there, sometimes it's Malcolm, sometimes it's Tommy, sometimes it's it's a uh, 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 hobby, sometimes it's uh, uh, Deshaun. So I mean, it's it, again, it's a constant rotation out there. Yeah. Tennessee yeah. to move guys around as much as you have this year. Is that something that's normal for you and the scheme to do when you're more established? Like right now, you're obviously. Uh, 50 50. I mean, part coming in new, you got to see what they can do. But also, you know, everything is about concepts. You know, the one, the one thing being here is you're always talking about the game of football, you know, football intelligence, situational, things like that. So uh, you're always moving guys around. And the more they understand concepts at, one, at different positions, the more when they do go in their position, they understand what guys are doing around them, you know. And, and it's, 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 a re it's really cool in terms of the awakening being around here, being around Coach Rule and, and, and those guys to see, like, you know, those guys moving around, they better understand other positions. So that way you say, hey, go play this. And naturally, they may not have taken reps there, but they're executing because they, they understand concepts. I have some questions. Oh. Um, uh, he uh, switched to receiver for a little bit last mm -hmm. year. Uh, was he back on defense full-time? What did you see? Right now he's, he's on defense. You know, that, that's, that's Coach Rule deal. Right now he's on defense, and he – if Coach Rule says he's on offense tomorrow, he's on offense tomorrow. But uh, I've, I've seen him do uh, a lot of good things. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's about maturity, you know, and that's with, that's with everything. New staff, you want to make sure guys are buying into what, what we're doing, not only buying in, but actually uh, adopting it, believing in it, you know. And so uh, Tommy's a guy who, who has a lot of talent and his maturity, as his maturity comes along, you see him making more plays, more positive, around the ball more. So it's fun to watch. As a coach, how, how do you feel when you guys are tackling? How are they going about learning what you want them to do? Yeah, and, and I, I know you keep saying me, but it, it, we're really us. Like this is what we what we preach. Period. Everybody top down, and that's the first thing we do every day is tackle. You know, and and coach, it, it's really cool because he's kind of an old school guy in terms of hey, the the game is won physically, right? And so we practice physical. So um, the very first things we do on defense is always getting off a block and, and knowing how to make tackle. Now that's learning the tackling form, how we want to do things, how we want to tackle, but also putting them in situations where they got to go tackle. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, fun. it's cool to do it on a pop-up and then wait to the whole week and then play in the game and all of a sudden say, hey, go tackle somebody, right? No, we, we practice it every period. Everything we do is about the physicality part. 
seeing your group improve at the rate that you would like? There, there's always there's constant improvement because they they're knowing what to do a little bit better. But it's about the consistency, right? We 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 expect them every day to know what to do. But can you actually go and apply it on the grass? Can you? Can you take uh, the success from one period and put it over and wipe it out and go into another period like, hey, like you just lost that period, you know? And that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing like today in terms of, you know, defense won a period, then we come back and we get our butts kicked, you know, going that back and forth. Good teams don't do that. You know, good defenses don't do that. Good defenses, you play your butts off, you win or lose, next period, win or lose, next period. That's it. You know, you don't ride the emotional roller coaster. So we got to keep on uh, getting better that way. You guys around and track out different positions because it stunt some of that growth, or do you guys have to have a little bit more patience and grace with the guys? Yes, I mean, but but again, at the end of the day, if I see the ball, it don't. I don't need to know what to do in terms of hey, I see the ball over there. I'm running to the ball, and I'm gonna get there in a bad humor. Period. I mean, so the little X's and O's part, we can fix that, right? That's why Coach brought us here. We, we can fix the X's and O's part, but we got to develop the mindset and the attitude. And that is when everything breaks down, you see a football player at his best. Hey, I might have did A to B wrong, but B to C, I'm going over here, and I'm going to go wreck shop, and I'm going to go make some plays. And that's the thing you're looking for when you're moving guys around and all that stuff, you know? I haven't seen Elijah Jr. play. Pretty He's got a lot of talent. He's, he, he's, you see why, you know, you, you, you understand why his recruitment was the way it was and all that stuff. But uh, again, it's about the growth of him, you know, and the expectations on him. We know he's talented, but now can he be talented? Can he be physical? Can he be mentally tough? Can he play hard for his teammates? Can he do that on a consistent basis? Not just pass rush downs, but also run downs. Can he do that, you know? But he's showing, he's flashed a lot of talent. How, how do you see the offensive line? I mean, you're facing every day. So like, what, what, what is that group been like? Uh, to, to go against how they maybe, uh, iron sharpens test. iron you know starts starts with uh, coach uh, Dono he's you know he's a old school blue collar type grinder and those those guys play together and and it's really making us better I mean it's it's fun to go against those guys because you can see them working you can see them uh, always constantly getting better challenging the defense they're making us uh, really know the game and really know what we got to do um, so it's 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 really neat to go against those guys he's just a blue collar guy man he don't he's not all about the not all about the softness not all about the you know the fluffiness he is a get on the field we do things together let's work let's be physical let's get this right kind of guy and that's that's the way it is. It's kind of cool, you know. The older guys, the the old school guys, Coach Rule's kind of like that too, you know. He's like, "Hey, let's let's make no let's make no excuses. Let's go out there. The game is won this way, and let's be about it." So. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.
What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Good. Thank you. So where are you guys at at this point in spring just with your group? Uh, the guys have been doing a good job. We've, uh, we've learned a lot. Uh, we've learned how to practice. We're still learning how to practice. Um, we're learning uh, the execution of the defense. And so, you know, we're, we're putting guys in a ton of different positions and trying to just see them go execu execute and play at a high level. What about just adjusting with Tony White, kind of having a new scheme and coordinator? Yeah. New group of coaches. What's been that process like? It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We have a bunch of different ideas within the room. We all share the ideas and um, we're just trying to do what's best for the team and what's best for the defense. So it's been good for all of us to work together and figure out what's best through the spring. Yeah, the Jack, <clears throat> the Jack position is a versatile role. Uh, they do a lot for us. They'll, They'll play off the ball, they'll play on the ball, they'll play in space. Um, so they do a lot, which makes it a fun position to play and kind of kind of mix things up with him at that jack position. So it's, it's a fun position to play. Oh, shoot. We've kind of rolled kind of everybody. Um, you know, I've told the room I've, I want everyone to learn all three positions. So I've kind of put people all around through it this spring and, you know, just evaluating it as we go through it. How do we define them? It's just where we, we put them schematically within the system. But for me, I've been trying to put everyone everywhere just to just to see them and see how we execute. He's not. Yeah, I, it's, it's been no different than any other of the guys in the room. I, I try to spend as much time as I can with them and learn about them, their families, what's important to them in football, life, whatever it is. Um, I just I try to do my best to have them over to the house, hang out with me and spend time outside of football. And I think it's important to have that relationship, whether it's MJ or Luke or Nick or any of the guys, you know, go to dinners and just get to know them and so that him and I can trust each other greater than, than what's on the field. Uh, I guess I don't, I don't know how you define a true mic, but you know the, the defense is versatile in the fact that we could do a lot of different things. So we've been people putting people all over the place. So it's the responsibility of the whole defense to get the call. And then each position has a, a part in which they communicate to the rest of the defense. So, so the safeties will speak, the corners will speak, the backers will speak, the D-line will speak. Everyone, everyone has a role. Yep. No, no, there's not just one guy. It's, it's a responsibility of everyone to get us aligned and get us set up based off the call. Yeah. Yeah, Luke's been doing a good job along with the other guys and learning the system and learning, learning how we want to practice. And um, I've been pleased with Luke. And we've been doing a good job as a group with him. You know, it's break where you maybe don't want to <clears throat> individualize guys or put guys out in front. But is there, is there somebody who has sort of stepped up and that, that leadership can fall in? Or, or by example, or however you want to know. Um, I think a lot of the guys, like the, the group in general, just has been a pretty close knit group. And they've all kind of pulled each other <clears throat> in different areas, whether it's in the classroom or on the field. Um, I don't want I don't I don't want to point out any one guy because I think all of them are doing a really good job of putting their arms around each other and trying to make the the room as best as it can be. Yeah, I think overall, like we've we've put a ton of emphasis on just the fundamentals of, of linebacker play, like the body mechanics, the tackling, the block destruction, uh, how to attack the football. So, just just every aspect of the position, 
in my opinion, and, and within the defense, we've just fundamentally tried to attack it. This is the time to do it, along with learning the scheme, but, but really learn how to do the fundamentals of the position. How many guys do you still have that are sort of, you know, linebackers, but maybe they're also D linemen or the linebackers are also sort of in the secondary? Have, have you guys defined that a little bit more? Um, no, there's not really guys that are D linemen and safeties and corn like. The, the, the linebacker position is just versatile within itself, so they you kind of see him all over the place, which is which is cool. Yeah, so John was was with the secondary. We moved him over to linebacker, and he's done a really nice job for us. He's he's learned the defense at a high level. He's competitive. He's a tough kid. He works hard. He's done everything we've asked. So uh, I've been proud of his progress and, and learning the new position and, and kind of doing everything we've asked. Kind of more of a edge rusher last year. How does he some of that coverage stuff? Yeah, he's done a really nice job. He's done a really nice job. I, like I said, I've I've asked those guys to learn every position because I think it's important. You know, down the stretch in the season, who knows what's going to happen? So I want these guys to learn learn all the positions and hold each other accountable within the room to say, hey man, I got this, you got this. Like let's roll out there together and and be great at our job. But but Jamari's done a nice job. When you get to learn this Tony White defense over the last few months, anything stood out like, ooh, I really like how he does that, or ooh, this is really cool, I'm glad we're doing it like this? That's a great question. There's there's a lot of really cool things that I enjoy about it, um, from from how we call it to how we name things, how it's structured. Um, I think the learning for the guys makes it pretty simple with how, how we structure it, um, so I enjoy that aspect of it. Um, r really, the whole thing, it's been... It's been awesome for me to learn it, and it's been awesome for us to kind of bounce ideas and talk about things within the room. How receptive has Tony been to, to you know, feedback from you guys? Awesome, awesome. We all, I think within the room in general, we all listen to each other. We all just want to get better. We all here for the same goal and purpose is to push these guys to be better men and, and win football games. Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Staff is amazing, so I'm just excited for the upcoming season. You didn't have a spring here last year, kind of had it come from Alabama in June. Mm -hmm. um, how beneficial now is it to have like, a full winter and training and dieting um, at Nebraska to kind of get ready for a season? It's been great. Um, you know, I came in June, so when I got here, everything was happening at a fast pace. You know, just right into the fall, we played. Uh, very early in the week zero, so everything happened so fast. Now, you know, having a full year under my belt, um, I feel like the brotherhood of our team has been growing. And me personally, I've been coming a lot more closer with the guys, and the new staff has just been great. So we've been, you know, building brotherhood as a team and stuff. What's the take out of Coach Knight in particular? Uh, the number one thing is he's been where I'm trying to go. Um, he's played the position I play. He's played at the highest level. Did it for a long time at a high level. So that's the main thing is like, I just soak in everything he tells me and he keeps it real with me. And I really appreciate that from him. And um, he knows that I have dreams and aspirations of getting to where he's been and he knows what it takes to get there. So I'm just trying to soak in each and everything I can from him. He seems like he's extremely detailed after everything Yes, that very detailed, very de detailed. You can tell that he loves the game. He's very passionate about it. And um, it's something that he's you know been doing for a long time. So I'm really blessed to have him, especially for my final year. So, you know, I just, I'm really excited to be with him. Is this your sixth year then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it weird to be like a six-year guy? Yeah, it wasn't, you know, it planned this way, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. God has a plan for each and everybody. So I'm just taking it and enjoying it and um, just trying to make the best of it. Which did you consider trying to go pro, you know, this offseason? Was that part of your evaluations? Yeah, it was. Um, I just felt that. Uh, I didn't do all I could do to give myself the best chance. I feel like I, I can come back and, you know, give myself a better chance to, you know, maybe go higher or, you know, even just, you know, more opportunity. So I said, why not just take advantage of me and my family? We sat down and it was like, 
you know, you got nothing to lose, so just give it all you got one last time and, you know, let the chips fall with it me. I know you are looking ahead, but what did you, what did you, think, you kind of talked about last year, but what did you specifically want to improve on? What, what do you think of the last season? Uh, just my overall, you know, movement inside. Uh, I feel like I was very, you know, stationary a little bit. I didn't show that I could move, you know, in between the tackles inside as much as, like, I would want to. So I know knowing Coach White's defense is a lot of movement up front. So I think it gives me a chance to show off my athleticism as a big guy and that I can move and, you know, make plays in the backfield and down the line. So just more opportunity for me. Have you uh, trimmed weight or body fat? I mean, kind of what was your off-season goal in that area? I've uh, definitely gained a lot of muscle, muscle mass um, from the end of the season to now. I'm still trying to trim more body fat, more fat. Um, my, perf- my idea of body weight is probably anywhere from – 310, 315, or even 305. So that's where I want to be at. I'm not there yet, so that's my goal. Hopefully, you know, in the next couple of weeks, just get down. Right now, I'm in about 320. You guys are still working at kind of that interior defensive role, but is there anything different that you might have had to learn uh, with this new system that Tony White brought in? Like anything different that you've had to focus on in particular? Uh, football is football, but one of the main things is just, you know, Working on my first two steps, getting vertical, getting vertical penetration. That's something that is new to me. So that's been my number one thing, working on just getting vertical off the wall. Been around a lot of college football, a lot of college football coaches. What's maybe distinct about Coach Rule and his staff that just sets them apart, good, bad, otherwise, from your other I think the number one thing is that they all have a strong bond and relationship. Him and the whole staff are like me. They all been at several places together. And they all trusted him and trusted his plan and process. And as players, it's very, very encouraging to see that all the coaches are bought in to, and believe into what he what he says and what he believes will make us a successful team. So it's very encouraging to see that how close they are, and they just make us more close as an uh, organization. Can you feel that as a player when coaches are really definitely the same wavelength first and foremost? Definitely, you can really feel it, and it's just very encouraging to know that. They all got each other back, so it's like for us, it's like why well, we can't have their backs as well. So it, I think it really brings us all closer together. You talked about mobility earlier. Is there, is there something distinct too about the strength and conditioning program with Coach Campbell um, as, as far as like movement efficiency and sort of mobility and flexibility that you know? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, regeneration days. Like, so like days like if we go hard for three or four days, we might have a regen day and just working on our flexibility and our mobility. And that's been really helpful for all of us, you know, staying healthy and also just stretching our limbs out and just staying loose. Brody and Blaze Gunnarsson both kind of work in, in your group a little bit, both kind of younger guys. Have you tried to mentor them? Have you given them any tips, anything like that? Uh, you know, Brody just came over to us from tight end. So he's still learning everything as we're going. Blaze is a guy who's been in, you know, for a while now. Uh, he's still younger, you know, on the field wise, but he's been here for a while. So uh, really the main thing is just them, you know, just keep going, keep pushing. Uh, everybody, everybody's ready to work. Everybody wants to, you know, be successful. So it's really, as a leader, as an older guy, it's not really much mentoring that I have to do because everybody is hungry. Everybody wants to be great. So it's a really great feeling. Not, not really your position here, but what's your impression of the old line growing up against those guys? How, how they They're definitely coming along very well. Uh, I will say one thing about our old line is that they are a brotherhood. They go everywhere together. And you don't just see one of them by yourself. You see uh, they, co- they go as a pack. And I think that definitely is something that you know, keeps them strong. Appreciate it. Before we get into the questions, I would like to say something. Um, the day I found out I wasn't allowed to play this past year was one of the hardest days of my life, and I've not only hurt this team and the fans, 
or my family, and I can assure you I hated myself more than anyone else did. My parents have never been able to watch me play in person, and that broke me. <clears throat> this past year was hard for everyone on this team, for all the coaches that have came and gone, for all the people that have watched us, for everyone. This university has given me the opportunity to play at the highest level, and I messed that up. Now that I'm back, I promise you and everyone out there that I would rather die on the field than have to watch another minute from the sideline. I'm giving everything for the end, and you don't deserve nothing less. I understand that some people will not like me or are disappointed, or disappointed for my mistake, but just know that I will never give up, and I will try my absolute best to represent the Nebraska Pipeline, and that I owe this university nothing less than everything. With that being said, <clears throat> I would like to end that chapter of my life right there, and I understand that you guys have to do a job, but I would like to get past it. Thank you. All right. How are you guys doing? Uh, so this is the second year coming back with Donnie, Donnie, Donnie mm -hmm. Have you sensed any sort of change with him, or is it just the same old Donnie? <laughs> same old coach. Um, coach Coach Raiola is is one of the best coaches I've been around. Um, you know, he's about the team, and he's about us. You know, and that's that's one thing that like I put high praise on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's tr very true. Um, he's he's hard on us, but like that's what we need. You know, like we need somebody to be true to uh, to you know his word. And he is one of those people that's like he says what he is, and he is what he says. What did that time away do for your eagerness, your attitude, everything about the way you go about practice when you got out there this spring? I just want to play with this team. It's my last year, and I, I want to do the best thing that's possible for the team. What was it like to get out there? Uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun to play with everybody again. You know, it's fun to be around everyone. Um, like, fun to be able to stand next to everybody and, like, go through the grid uh, and through everything together, you know. So uh, it's, it's very fun. Where are, you, where, are you, where are you working primarily? Um, everywhere, everybody's kind of getting being thrown around to see like what we can do, and uh, so I don't necessarily have a primary position right now. Do you have a preference? A what? <laughs> <laughs> Henry, uh, new offense, obviously. What are what are some of the main differences between last year's offense and this year's offense from your point of view? Uh, I like that we run the ball a lot, so that's about as much as I can say. <laughs> Um, it, it started off a little shaky when I first got here. Um, you know, everybody kind of was there, just there to, to be there, you know. But, uh, you know, Coach Royal has put a huge emphasis on, like, being together, believing together, like, you know, seeing through one set of eyes. And we've been doing a really, really good job at, like, staying together, doing everything together. I mean, um, <clears throat> you know, like, we're, you can, if you watch practice, I mean, we're always together, you know. Like, you never see us outside of each other. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a really big thing. And, like, it, it shows, you know, you're, we're all fighting for each other. How has Ben Scott been on that? I'm sorry to keep uh, <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> um, I mean, perfectly. You know, he, he's immediately bought into uh, this brotherhood. And he's part of it now. You guys are a smaller group. I mean, not in physical size, but mm -hmm. in numbers. Um, there's a number of offensive linemen who are out there this spring. Probably all game. Everybody who's healthy is going to be asked to play a pretty big role in the yeah. spring game. Does that do anything for the, the camaraderie? Just that there, there, aren't, there aren't players standing around right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, everybody's going. And like I said earlier, you know, everybody's kind of being thrown around everywhere, see, um, you know, what everybody can do. And uh, it's, it's hard, yes, but it's really, really fun to be able to go through it with my brothers. You know, it's really, really fun to be standing next to somebody who's heaving like you. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Um, I mean, Coach Campbell is an amazing human being. Um, I have talked to him, you know, on the side a lot, and uh, he's he's a great, great human. <clears throat> and he's also an amazing coach. I mean, he's, his emphasis is like to get into position, you know, get get your depth, get like your stability. You know, it's not it's not as much about like throwing heavy weight around, but like getting into the right form. And um, I like that a lot about him. 
feel it in your room? What have you seen from him? <laughs> he's part of it. He's, I mean, he's, he's right in it with all of us, um, especially, you know, since we are not that many people. Um, He's, he's showing up, you know, he's, he's right there with us. He's right there sweating it out with us and gutting it out with us. And uh, it's, it's really nice to see somebody come in and immediately, you know, work as hard as everybody else, too. Gary, how do you feel physically right now? And what did you do over the past year to, make, to maintain? I mean, all I could do is work out. Um, I, <clears throat> I've been working hard, you know, trying to get the, you know, be, a, be a, the best teammate I could be. And... Uh, that's basically all I was doing, working out and be the best teammate. So I've been having a good time. <laughs> How much were you able to do with the team? Everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was on the sideline too, so I, but like, you obviously not, not play. Hey, Coach Rule has, has really stood up for the offensive line for multiple times over the last few months and talking about how he thinks they there's an incorrect or unfair narrative about their struggles, you know, we talked the other day about Ben Hart specifically, you know, what does that mean to, to you guys as a group to hear your head coach talk about that? A lot. I mean, um, he himself was a O-line coach at one point, so like he knows what it's like. He knows how it is to be in the side of the ball. Um, and to be right, you know, in the middle of the trenches. Um, it's, it's a hard job to do, and all of us know that, you know. And having a lot of people, you know, be behind us and, like, give us a chance to be the best we can be um, means a lot to us. And um, we're all, like, we all love Coach Rule. So um, I'm, really, I'm really happy that uh, we have somebody like him behind us. Anything else from there? All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.